All right, so now it's time to talk about sometimes an uncomfortable subject. The word <laughs> Sorry, the word <laughs> Dude, are you censoring me? All right, sorry about that. The word budget. Ah, there we go. A lot of times people think of that as a four letter word. If you start talking to couples about a budget and how they talk about it, they'll actually start getting cold sweats because they know an argument is about to come up if they bring up the word budget alone. If you start talking to a young professional or a college student, a lot of them will say budgets are important for somebody retiring. I've heard that a lot. Or their parents. But I can assure you that a budget is not only important, but it's important now. So you work really hard for your money. So why not make sure that every single penny goes to somewhere that you actually want it to go? Somewhere that's actually going to help you succeed. Even more than that, something I really enjoy is a budget has an allocation for every single penny and it allows me to have guilt-free spending. Because if I've, if I've already allocated two or $300 towards clothing because I know I need it that month, I have zero guilt when I spend two or $300 on clothing. So now that since my wife and I have started doing this every single month and reviewing our budget and setting it accordingly, and then it's tracking our expenses, we've actually had a much easier time managing our finances, coming in under budget, saving money, and we don't feel like we're sacrificing anything because we have a budget. So in this video, I'm gonna be talking about the detailed version of the budget and how to track your expenses and what the budget can actually do for you step by step. Now this is going to be a very abbreviated version. If you want more detail on the budget after you download it at mydailymark.com, then make sure to stop off for other more detailed videos, including exactly how I manage my expenses for about five minutes each week and why it's so easy, and as well as exactly how I create my budget each month and stay under and save more. So check all those out. It's very simple to download the budget. All you have to do is go to mydailymark.com backslash budget, then I'll bring you to this post. This post goes over details about this budget as well as the seven benefits of budgeting. I also included a few other examples down here of what you can use if you didn't want to use this type of detailed budget, including my simple budget that I have. In order to download the detailed budget, all you have to do is enter your first name and your email address and hit get budget. Once you submit, you'll be sent a link that you can actually go to the downloadable budget and then all you have to do is click on the budget see it downloaded up here open it up and there's the budget alright so once you download the spreadsheet you're gonna be taken to a tab called example budget now I have two different examples on here so that way you can kinda of get a feel for the spreadsheet with some basic data in here just uh, dummy data and you can see the example budget which you do at the beginning of the month and then the example checkbook which is what you're gonna be updating throughout the month now I do have one of these for every single month so here's a January budget a checkbook for January then we have February down here at the bottom March uh, budget checkbook and it goes all the way through the year so that way you can track your progress throughout the entire year and come back and reference it later if you need to now this example budget is uh, looks looks pretty difficult at first and it is a detailed version of the budget but rest assured there's only a few things you actually have to change so the key up here shows you the three different colors you really need to pay attention to the first is orange which you're gonna do at the beginning of every single month you're gonna enter your potential take home pay and if your salary this is very easy but this is your take home bring home after 401k and taxes insurance etc you're going to enter what you expect to spend in each category as well as your savings how much you think you're going to save and all of your basic expenses and want and need expenses etc and all of this is customizable so if a basic need for you is not a hovercraft bummer but if it is call me because that is awesome and say you need something more realistic like baby supplies. You can change your budget in here, say $200. And over the checkbook example down here at the bottom, click on that. And you can see our category of expense has now changed to baby supplies. Now the category is 22. So let's change this to diapers, 22. And it's $50, so that expense is already in there. We'll say wipes. Uh, 22 and just say another 50 so now our expenses will total on the other page our budget page of a hundred dollars for that category and here it is our budget was 200 our expenses now with those two fifty dollar charges is a hundred and we have a hundred dollars remaining 
down here it shows you exactly how, how much you have remaining from total actual expenses that you've reported compared to your income that you're assuming you're going to get this month. All right, so that was a brief overview of the very detailed spreadsheet. I will have a beginner spreadsheet available as well on mydailymark.com in case you want something a little easier to operate the first time. But I can assure you that this whole spreadsheet is actually pretty easy once you get the hang of it and you only have to enter two or three different things. Now, if you need more detail, I am gonna have different videos on how to enter those expenses and how I manage it each week in about five minutes, as well as uh, how to manage your budget and how to create your budget each month using your previous month's expenses. So for the, all that, stick around. I'll, I'll show you the links to the videos. Now, one last thing about the budget is it's not just a bunch of numbers on a piece of paper. If done right and paid attention to, you and your spouse will actually feel more free about spending your money in the places that you value. But make sure your spouse is involved because if it's just you dictating how the money's going to be spent, it's not going to end up well. All right, so one last thing. Did you notice something a little odd in the video? I hid in an Easter egg for you. So if you can find me pointing up at Take Action, click on my head and you'll get a special bonus feature on the spreadsheet. <laughs>